So here is GPI app. Just a quick overview of what it does. Uh, it's one of the top apps, as you can see, it's quite hard in the top charts of finance apps. It's one of the top apps to stay connected and transfer some money and support your incarcerated individuals. Uh, you can easily send money to a trust account send and receive emails, photos, e-cards and videograms. You can also purchase a tablet. So what it does, so you can just create your GPI account. So how it looks like just GPI app. It's actually super, has super easy design, kind of seems like a design, but by 12 year old. Um, and then you just have create new account. Um, it's not possible to sign in with Google or Facebook. So just se select location and then you ha you can select like different state and then you would need to enter the ID search and then proceed from there. Then after that, after you created your account, you can just log in with, with your email and password. So uh, that's how it works. Uh, I don't have access to, to the account. I just have some reviews from, from my viewers on the channel uh, about this app. Yeah, that, yeah, like the design is, is, is not that great or something. You can see also the reviews. There are all 12,000 ratings. There is a huge demand actually for this app uh, in US, but the average rating is not that good. Also, this app is available on Android or Google Play Store. So it's like it does the basic job. It's, it's not perfect. Uh, some There are some bugs here and there, but it's one of the few apps which you can use in, in those cases. So you can send money with a credit debit card or schedule recurrent transfers. You can purchase stamps if you want to send emails, snap and send and videograms. It's not possible to send messages as such as you can send on WhatsApp or Messenger, but you can send emails. And you need, for those emails, you need to pay and you need to purchase stamps. Uh, you can send emails to multiple recipients. Uh, you can prepay for an email reply or transfer stamps. So yeah, to, to also for other person to send you an email, there should be some credit and stamps available. So you can prepay them. You can attach, send photos in emails, or you can just send a photo separately with snap and send. You can send 30 second videograms, set up a low uh, stamp balance reminder. Uh, you can also purchase tablet for that, for that person. Um, with, yeah, within this app kind of like transfer that. Uh, fund, fund media account for tablet content. Uh, you can also yeah, just buy that subscription to, to have some media options on that tablet. Add edit payment options and option to save card for future, manage your profile. So these are the features uh, which you have here. Uh, missing emails. Uh, this app has great potential, but there are some bugs here and there. You can see some really old reviews from two, three years ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of people replied with horrible service. Recently, there are less bugs here, and you can see that this like design is quite outdated. But there you have it. it uh, like there are some views uh, and reviews, and like overall, it does the the basic job. Um, but sometimes it's it's just buggy. But it's one of the few apps in this category, so. And it's available on Android as well, so just try it out.